40k universe you would ideally know somewhat about it how the space marines work the imperium who the cadaver emperor is and the threats that are faced it's essentially a dark gothic universe humans have had to become very dark and, and menacing and a lot of like m motif and, and concepts of skulls and concepts of the dead come into play through the general look and architecture of their technology, you'll see like servo skulls, so that's like a floating skull with a mechanical eyepiece in it, and that might serve you. So even in death, you continue to serve the emperor. And this concept of death and, and life is brought about by the fact that it is a universe that, of course, the tabletop game is meant to be played in. So the idea of Games Workshop is that it's supposed to be constant death, all over the universe on such a regular scale that death itself isn't isn't particularly surprising and a lot of the concept of that also comes from their emperor he was portrayed years ago by Horus a whole load of the space marines that that served man think of them as sort of kind of um, cybernetic superhumans with extra added bits biological and cybernetic combination of, of implants, organ implants, all sorts of things like that going into them to, to make them greater than humans. A large number of them succumbed to chaos, betrayed the rest of their brethren. The emperor died in the struggle. His cadaver now sits upon the throne, and the concept is that they're on holy terror, the homeworld of the emperor. They are still sustaining him by, I think it's uh, billions of people a day, giving up their lives in sacrificial queues, giving up their life force to keep the emperor's life force going. The holy emperor. There are no gods to uh, humankind. There is just the emperor and everything is for the emperor. This is a dark world where suspicion is rife. Essentially, the chaos space marines came about all because of the four chaos gods. And these are the same gods that you see in Warhammer Fantasy. This isn't necessarily the same universe of Warhammer Fantasy, but essentially is in the future, but it's supposedly not supposed to be. But essentially is, I mean, it's the same four chaos gods after all, and what have you. That is Slanesh, Nurgle, Korn, and Tsinch. These are the four that are the manipulators and helping to turn humans against their kind and grim reality for these people. There is only the cold certainty of war, death and suspicion constantly. So an inquisitor is the NPC who leads you and under him he's taken a band of acolytes that serve him. He grants the missions to the acolytes and then sends them out. You are the acolytes. So you can be several different um, career pathways. And some of those are pretty standard, fair, similar to the sort of thing you would find in fantasy adventures. And some of them are a little bit different. To uncover truths, to find out where there may be heresy lying. If they manage to survive, well, they could become quite useful heroes for the Imperium, or even inqu Inquisitors themselves at some point. And if they die, well, it was a worthy sacrifice in the name of the Emperor. And that's how it is.